Hello everyone. Welcome to my imperfect art number 26. How are we all doing? So today I have painted this mother turtle and a baby turtle in watercolor to celebrate the eternal love of our mothers. Let's begin. Like always, I'm going to start with a very rough sketch of the mother turtle and the baby turtle. And I will speed up the video while I finish the sketch. Okay, so the sketch is done now and it's time to start coloring. To do the body of the turtle, I will be using blue and green shades. And as you can see, I'm just doing a very thin layer to do the base first using a very watered down light green shade here. Once the base layer is done, I will start topping it up with all sorts of vibrant colors. Stay tuned. I am doing a very thin layer of border here, but I will blend it in with the rest of the color. The base layer is almost done and I will move to the bright color of the shell. So for the shell, I'm using a mix of various colors like orange, deep red and metallic colors, you know, just to give it a little bit of shimmer. But you can use any mix of colors. You can make it blue based, orange based, yellow based. Let your imagination guide you. Okay, while I do the rest of the shell, I am going to speed it up. These boxes that I'm doing on the shell, uh, they are not regular. They are a little bit wonky and I like it that way. But it is up to you. Uh, as you'll be able to see, I am going to do few of those boxes as freestyle and few of those boxes I will sketch it with a pencil first and then I'll fill it with the color. Let's enjoy the process. putting some deep dots of color and letting it flow with the water. I really enjoy doing this kind of watercolor painting where I let the water decide where it wants to go. I think in technical terms, it's known as wet on wet, but do correct me because I'm still learning. Okay, so I will speed up the rest of the process again as it's quite repetitive. But even then, I must say that I really enjoyed doing this painting. So this is the metallic color that I was talking of earlier. Just adds such a brilliant shimmer to the whole painting. Just a few drops in the corners and it flows nicely with the water, creating beautiful patterns.
continuing with the rest of the shell now As you can see, none of them has regular shapes. I'm actually really liking how imperfect all these shapes are, which is nicely binding together to form the shell. And not to mention the richness of the color and the shimmer. Okay, so while I let the shell dry, I will move to the body and I will start putting more and more layers. So on top of the yellow, I am putting a layer of blue now and recently I've been using a lot of neon color. Uh, you might think that neon color will look really odd and bright, but that's not the case at all. I'm pleasantly surprised to use them. Now watercolor can be a bit subtle at times and the neon colors add that extra vibrant beautiful bright hues um, I'm very happy with them <laughs> just fitting up the video a little bit now back to using blue neon color again i will be using a lot of this blue neon color today as i said i have really fallen in love with this neon set it's just absolutely perfect to do the colorful sea creatures with this Just topping it up with more and more layers to get my desired shade. Because of over usage of water, some of the colors are bleeding out as you can see. But I'm not too worried because they will all blend together and form a nice pattern. Okay, so while I let the mother turtle dry up, I will start working on the baby turtle now. That is actually a lot of water. I will absorb it with a dry brush.
So using a very watered down version of blue to form the base layer first. I don't think I will put as many layers on the baby turtle as I've done on the mother turtle. I will keep it very simple but for sure will make it very colorful. So using orange to paint the shell. Again, there is no defined color, no defined path. Just follow your heart and you can use any shapes or any colors to do the shell. I will speed up the video soon because as you can see, it is quite a repetitive process. See how I am making random shapes and filling up the shell? It feels like a puzzle. Okay, so the shell is almost getting done now and I'm really happy with the bright orange color. What do you think? Just topping it up with another layer. Again, using my favorite blue neon color to do the tail of the baby turtle. And as you can see, just doing random shapes, just filling it up like a puzzle. Time to work on the flippers of the baby turtle. Again, using that same blue neon color. Continuing with the other flipper now, using the same blue color, sometimes it's dark, sometimes it's lighter. Now the eyes of the turtles are quite simple, they are actually quite big as well and I am using dark indigo so added a little bit of black and ultramarine. The eye of the mother turtle is half closed, kind of gives it a more relaxed look. The baby turtle is almost done now. As promised, it's very colorful and I must say it looks very naughty as well. Okay, so the eyes were pretty simple and now I will continue with the flipper of the mother turtle. Again, random shapes. There is no need to follow any rule. Just fill it up like a puzzle.
just doing a quick color wash here that will eventually add to another layer and a nice texture. Again, not following any rule, just making random shapes with various colors. I hope it's evident that's the other flipper of the mother turtle. I'm deliberately putting that white dot in the corner <laughs> to bring out that very familiar expression of our mothers when the kids want to have a playful time. Continuing with the body of the mother turtle, around the neck region it's nothing but 99% water and only a little bit of color. Moving on to the tail. Again, lots of repetitive similar patterns. The more imperfect the patterns are, the better it is. Okay, so the mother turtle and the baby turtle are done now. Don't they look colorful and playful as well? I will try and do the surrounding a little bit. Just have a blue color wash and we'll see how it goes. I mean, you can leave it at this or maybe do a little bit of background as well. I mean, it's entirely up to you. I'm going to speed up this process uh, because it's just a quick color wash. Uh, sometimes I'll add dark shades and sometimes light. Let's see. Just being careful around the corners. Um, another thing is that I let the turtles entirely dry before I started doing the background. Just covering up my turtles before I do some color sprinkling. I'm hoping that this is going to add a very nice texture to the background. This is one of my favorite part of doing a watercolor painting. Just adding the last bit. Okay, so I thought it's all done. 
but after it all dried up um, the background looks very light so I am going to try and make it a bit darker and see how it goes stay tuned uh, so I'm wetting my paper again I have got this nice water spray and it comes very handy at times Just using my favorite blue neon color and I've added a little bit of dark shade this time. Okay, so I'm going to speed up this process because it's a very simple color wash, just a bit of darker shade than before. I keep spraying water to give a heterogeneous texture to the background. Let's see how it goes. I decided to work on my baby turtle a little bit more, just adding another shade to make it pop out. Just adding some white paint to give an impression of like sun rays penetrating through the ocean water. As you can see, I am trying to keep it very subtle. Adding some metallic paint on the baby turtle's shell. It's going to give a brilliant shimmer, as if the sun rays are shining on its back. Okay, time to add some more color sprinkling. And I'm again hoping that it's going to give a beautiful texture to the background. Now I will wait for the whole painting to dry up and let all the colors emerge. Okay, so here is the finished painting of a baby turtle in a very playful mood with the mother turtle, swimming away in shimmering water, possibly celebrating Mother's Day in their own fun way. I have done another turtle painting in acrylic in the very initial days. Check out the link above for the detailed video. I had a great time painting this today and I feel very blessed to be able to present it to you. I thank you very much and if you enjoyed watching this tutorial, I would appreciate a like, comment, share or even subscription. It really helps the channel and keeps me inspired. Thanks again, take care and I'll see you in my next video.